Okay, so today I am making an ashtray with resin. I've already put my resin and my hardener in my container. And I'm just mixing and scraping the sides. And I have picked out my layout, which is right there, upside down. It's going to look really cool. Ocean theme. Um, and some glitter. And I put a little baby oil inside of my mold because I'm really afraid it's going to get stuck and ruin my mold because it's a new one. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I put some resin in the three small cups and I still have some left. So I am going to add some glitter and some color to those. I'm just kind of going playing by ear here. So I'm going to add some glitter. Okay, we got glitter in this one. We have glitter and paint in this one. And alcohol ink and glitter in this one. And then some clear left. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start by pouring in the clear, a little bit of clear. Because I have to put the stickers in there. I hope that's good. Okay. Let me put the stickers in. Cross our fingers and pray that this works. Um, I'll, I'll ask him soon. All right. Let me put the first one in. I'm gonna kind of push it down in the resin. And make sure we put them upside down because it's going to be flipped. Okay, next one. It makes me nervous when I do stuff like this because I'm just playing it by ear and I'm hoping it turns out okay. Because if it doesn't, it's a, um, a waste of resin and stickers and glitter and paint. You know, nobody likes to waste. Okay. I wonder if I'm supposed to be peeling them off, like, or just leave them in the plastic. I'm just going to peel them. I'm going to leave that there. Was I supposed to put those in there first? Let's see. Let's put some rise in there first. A little bit. Okay. Kind of spread around. It's a new mold. I haven't used it before, so I'm like crossing my fingers. Cross your fingers, Annie. It's stuck to my glove. There we go. Hey, that's pretty neat. Okay. Next one. Jellyfish. My mom's going to love this. Can't get it off. Here we go. I'm gonna stick that little guy right there. I hope I'm doing this right. We're gonna push him down a little. No bubbles. Okay, now we're gonna next one. Which is the top wave. Probably should keep the plastic on the back, but. Okay, the top wave. You push that down.
this is just, I think this is just going to be a decorative ashtray. Like, nobody's going to actually use it. And a tiny little bubble. Right there. Okay, push it down. Make sure they're all down. I'll put some more clear on there. Yeah. I hate when it starts making a mess. Resin is such a messy project. Sometimes it's so worth it. And sometimes it's not. It's a love-hate relationship with this resin. We're going to pour more on. Is there a glare? Can you see this? Pour more of this. Oh my God. There we go. On the sides. I think it's going to come out neat, except for my bubble is falling. There we go. They're sliding around a little bit, which I didn't expect, but just keep shoving them over. Okay. Now let me figure out what I'm going to do next. Okay. I hope you can see that. I know there's a glare. Let me just turn it. There you go. Okay. So now we're going to torch the bubbles. It's just a light touch. You don't want too much heat because you don't want it to stick. So now I am going to add some of the glitter, I think. Yeah, I'll add the glitter. Let's see, how do I want to do this? That's cool. There we go, that's cool. I do like that. And we're out of glitter. Maybe if the glitter is not Yeah. There we go. One second. Okay, so we've got that now. And they seem to kind of, they stop sliding around, so that's good. Uh huh. Uh huh, strawberries. All right, next, I think I'm going to do the solid blue on the top. Probably gonna have to make more resin. This is gonna probably flow into it, but that's okay. Ooh, that's a pretty color. All of that. Oh, nice. Kind of coming out the sides, which is cool. And then we're going to torch again the bubbles really quickly because I don't want it to. I'm so scared it's going to stick. Okay. Now we have this color left. I'm going to put that in. This, color kind of, this looks like the other color but not a dark. Maybe I won't. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to need more. Yeah, 
definitely going to need some more later on. Which is okay. Looks pretty cute. Oh, stop sliding. There we go. Now I have to make some more. Okay. I need more and I put the paint. This Where's the paint? This is the paint I put in it because I really like this color. And then I used some of this glitter and some white glitter. So we're going to pour that on top. I really hope this comes out nice. I really, really, really don't want to be disappointed. I didn't know this mold was going to be this big either. I thought it was a little ashtray, but apparently I didn't read the measurements because I figured all well, ashtrays are pretty much the same type. All right. Neat. Okay. Get the rest of that out. There we go. And let's pop some bubbles. I'm praying the guy, but it doesn't stick. Don't melt, don't melt. And also, if you have a bike pump or a ball pump, that works good for bubbles too. You don't have to worry about it burning on the sides, like sticking to the sides that way. That's what I'm doing. I'm pushing it down from the side. And I'm getting rid of air bubbles in the process. Okay. I'll use the rest of the... I added some glitter to the clear that I have left. I'm going to add that. Just to get it up there. Go along the side there. Just kind of throw it in everywhere and mix it all up. I think that's like perfect height. I know it's level because I put a leveler on it before I started, but it kind of doesn't look level now. Now I'm just kind of mess with it. Trying to move that color around, swirl it around, oceany, you know. Kind of want to cover up the sticker mark, so. Really hoping this comes out nice. I've had a lot of flops lately with resin. Love, heat, relationship. Sometimes it does amazing things, and sometimes it does things that make you want to scream. And pull your hair out. Like, for example, I made a mold of roses. I put resin in it, alcohol ink, and then I went to demold it. And it was completely stuck and it ripped the mold. And I no longer have that mold. I hate that. Now, that's why, that's probably why I'm paranoid about sticking. I don't want, I don't want my mold to be ruined forever and ever and ever. I mean, there's ways to get it out without ripping your mold, but now, okay, I can't see if the stickers are, all right, good, good, all right, now all I have to do is wait for this puppy to cure and see how it looks once it's, once it's cured, so there, there we have it, pretty deep ashtray there, so that was fun to make. Now the hard part, waiting for it to cure. That's, that sucks. I really hate waiting for it to cure. I check on it all the time. So we'll see what happens.
Touch your fingers.